Grr. Arg. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you another uh, quick Weebly tip. Um, if you use Weebly, then you're used to seeing the screen right here, your build page, where you can add title, text, images, and all the goodies that Weebly does offer in its drag and drop menu. Um, and I wanted to show you that for those of you who wonder about your site title and many other things, if you go to settings, you can actually go here and you can change your address. So if you don't like, say if I didn't like my JT Talks and I wanted to change it to anything else, all I have to do is hit change and I could change it right here or I could register it. If you move down, I've got a check mark there show at the top of my pages, and that's this right here. And you can change that right here if you wanted to. Just be sure to come over here and click on save. Now your favicon, you can't have that in the free version, sadly. But what that is, you see this little emblem right up here next to my JT Talks. That right there is your favicon. It shows up at the top of the page. And if you had if you registered your account, you could change that to your logo or whatever you wanted to. Site password. Of course I can't do that because I don't have the paid for version, but um, if you wanted to set a password to be able to even log in to your site you could here you can set up your navigation if you want to add more pages showing it more Facebook sharing that's more so for you um, if you want to uh, share anything that you do on here to your Facebook that's what that's for the archive is really cool because WordPress kind of complicates this um, but here if you simply just put in your email address they will send you a, a zip archive of your entire site um, and if you have your um, comments set to default and not discus or Facebook then your comments will be backed up as well and I thought this was a neat little new feature that they've added the simple chat allows you to provide real-time customer support from your phone that's really 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 cool I really like that your site formatting your dates your time of course you would just set that to whatever your information would be cookie notification um, for you to have like AdSense and uh, particular other ads they will actually check your site to see if you have a privacy notice or a cookie notification to let um, visitors to your site know that your site uses cookies always be sure to change that from off to either top or bottom um, most sites keep that at the bottom and I just leave that being the default text for that and of course you can always unpublish your website if you want if you wished and if you go to SEO here's where you're going to add your site description so when you share your site on just your home page just your main URL when you share that that's what will show up as your description and of course the meta words these are just SEO keywords these are just meant for to let people find your site better and then I know it says Google Analytics right here but for me my Google Analytics would not uh, sync up unless I put it in my header code um, but this is where you're going to put your analytics your webmaster tools all that sort of awesome stuff and then no idea why you would do this but it does give you the option to hide your website from search engines not sure why you would do that but it gives you the option and if you have any old broken links and you want the old URLs to go to a new one 
this right here is where you would do that. You can add editors. You can give other people permission to be able to get on here and log in to your site and edit things, which is pretty neat. Members, this will let you um, if you're if you're uh, have you if you have the paid for version. This will let you um, members create uh, an account on your website. But again, you have to have your site registered in order to use that. Um, Weebly did recently add the use of apps. They don't have many apps in their app center, but here's a few that I have installed. But there's here's where you go to manage your apps. And of course, if you have a store set up, you would click on store, and this is where you can set out how you want everything let out what you'd want to use for checking out options taxes shipping all that great stuff and that's all if you if you have a, uh, a store set up and of course your blog settings how many posts do you want to show per page your post share buttons which right now for some reason we believe only supports Facebook and Twitter which of course you can always turn that off and you can add the HTML and add your own share so people could share on Google Plus and pin and just all sorts of stuff if you wanted to but I just use the default you can choose whether or not to have your sidebar up in your blog footer and header codes And that's where you could add stuff like pop-ups and um, just all sorts of uh, HTML goodies. The commenting system, like I said, if you leave it on default and you back up your system, um, that's going to let you back up all of your comments. But if you do change it to Discus or Facebook, your comments aren't going to be backed up. Of course, you can choose to require approval to leave it open. I leave mine open. I just make sure I'm under spam protection. I select for it to do a captcha. Um, and some people will close comments after a certain amount of time. I don't know why these still give you options to do that. I've read on numerous pages that to that that is the most silliest thing that you could do. Because why would you keep someone from commenting, even if even if that post that you put up is seven to ten years old? If new people, if that post is still getting traffic, why would you stop people from commenting on it and bringing more traffic? It just doesn't make sense. But um, I keep that on never, and you can select for it to notify you of uh, new comments if you wanted to but that's the Weebly settings page I just want to go over that with you to show you how that works some of you may have a Weebly page and then not realize that you can change all of this I just wanted to show you that thanks for watching uh, please like comment and subscribe um, if there's any more Weebly uh, tidbits that you would like to see, please comment and let me know. Um, and again, thanks for watching.